Welcome back. We've made it to the 10th tee, one over. Thanks to a bit of luck and a lot of short game. Now when you've got a par 4 that should be a cast iron par 4, don't muck it up. So, three wood for me. Yo, hello everyone and welcome back. This is part 2 of how to get to single figures and stay there. Well, a new one on me. As I was walking back to the... Uh, the tenth tee box, the lady who was behind me on nine, just came off the ninth, walked into the middle of the tenth fairway and overtook me. There she is on the green. Seems like anything goes here as far as to what tee box you use or whether you use a tee box or not. Anyway, the back nine, which is the harder of the two nines, I think, simply because of 12, 15 and 17. But we'll tackle them when we get there and hopefully we'll do okay today. The two holes which are very easy to double bogey. So we've got to be uh, not more cautious but certainly more careful where we aim and with our shot choice. Right, the green's finally clear, we can get going again. Well, by hitting the draw I'm on the left hand side which puts me offset to the green. So I'm glad I didn't use a driver because then I'd be even more offset to the green. And that's a bit clunky. Well, the 11th, as you know, the fat of the green is well beyond the bunkers. So just take enough club to get past the bunkers. That is out to the right again. I swear that one day they're going to put the flag there and I'll have a birdie. Oh, I did have a birdie in one of the videos, didn't I? Well, the 12th, and oh dear, there goes a single magpie. Wonder how this fade will turn out. Yeah, I'm pretty certain the fade's supposed to go the other way. Well, at 190 up here, I need a bigger wood, but that is far too much of a risk with the out of bounds down the right there and with an average lie. So I'm going to come up short here and pitch on and try and single putt. Sometimes on the long holes you have to be defensive even though you want to rip it. The 12th green is a complete and utter, yeah. And if you think this putt looks difficult, you should see it in the summer when it's at full speed, because that just wouldn't stop. It would keep going another three feet. The 13th is another hole that should be a cast iron par four on paper. So it's three wood again, and try not to muck it up really, it's 
not about making the birdies, it's about not mucking up. You gotta get your par. I got 91 and on the upslope, this demands more club. And I'd rather hit a smooth pitching wedge than try and thrash the 50 degree. Well, I guess sometimes you just don't hold them all. This green's a bit awkward. So I don't mind a par. Well, as the tee's back, I'm gonna to revert to the driver. Just need a little fade over the top. Um, a fade over the top. Bugger. No point throwing the toys out the pram. Just got to concentrate on the next one. It's only 30 yards. I'm fairly certain I can hit a decent 30 yard pitch. Well, back in the shoot, the 15th is an absolute brute. And I'm not even teed up on the stops, they're further back. But a decent drive, so, you know, we got a chance of the par. It's always a slim chance of a par on 15. Got a reasonable number here. So I'm just gonna sling the hybrid, get it on the green. And that's another block. It's not bad blocking it, but it's not what you really want. Got about 30 yards. I'm going to take the sand wedge. I'm going to make sure I do not get caught on this false front. And the green drops off to the right as well. So I'm just going for the middle of the green about pin high. And if it ends in a bogey, it ends in a bogey. Right then, last little on the course chat. Now I've just seen I'm getting away with murder. I'm slapping the driver, I'm not hitting it straight today. But the short game's working out. And that's the important thing about single figures, is you really do have to have a short game. They're supposed to close that road when I'm talking, but they've obviously forgotten today. You know, you've got to own your wedge, you've got to own your putter. And I am, I'm getting away with murder. Now the reason you get away with murder is because you flush the last shot. There's nothing you can do about it, it's gone. The sooner you can get rid of the last shot, think about and concentrate on the next shot, the better the next shot is going to be. And uh, if you play with one of those guys who plays angry, who's tossing his clubs about and shouting and swearing and what have you and he says well I can only play good golf if I'm angry don't play with them anymore they're just a distraction unless of course you get a huge amount of amusement out of playing with them then carry on just so long as they don't they're not doing it while you're actually trying to swing the golf club so yeah flush the next shot 
and uh, have a short game. Now that I've said that on the 16th tee, what's the bait in the short game goes down the toilet as well. Anyway, let's slap another driver down here. Well, I'm not right back on the stops here either, but I think four iron is the correct club. Although I've hit it way too far left again. Just looking at my shoulder line, it doesn't look too clever. Now, this is an admission of failure, really. There's a steep downslope over this bunker. There's no way I am going to get this anywhere near the flag. The only thing I can do is to make damn sure I don't go in the bunker. You know, it's well past, but I can make a par with a putt. It's unlikely I would make a par if I dunked it in the bunker by trying to be cute. Well, it was a really good try. But it's another bogey. But you have to accept your bogeys. You're going to make them. So don't get your ass out when you do make one. 18th tee. Cut on the right hand side. This is more difficult than normal. Because I've got to play away from the trees. And play safe. <laughs> 